Good evening. The city of Shafter discussing their emergency order tonight, unanimously approving to extend it to follow along with the governor's orders. 23 ABC's Kylie Walker attended the meeting and joins us tonight to explain what this means for the city of Shafter. Kylie. It's been a hotly debated topic across the state, but tonight the city of Shafter decided to extend their emergency proclamation. As for how long that will last, that is unknown at this time, but the city's attorney, Marco Martinez, says until further notice. The resolution provides that it's until the governor terminates the order or until the city council, whichever one is sooner. However, we need to come back every 60 days to keep affirming it. The Shafter City Council addressing the local emergency order at its Tuesday meeting. The emergency order, which was initially put in place March 17th, now extended until further notice. City officials saying it's important for them to extend the declaration so that the city can continue to activate elements of its emergency response system. To allow the uh, city's director of emergency services to promulgate rules uh, with very little notice without having to call a special meeting of the city council. Uh, and we've done it here in Shafter. Well, we've had to act rather quickly on some items. The declaration would also make the city eligible for any FEMA reimbursements, which city manager Gabriel Gonzalez says they have been tracking. Uh, for example, we've had to do a couple cleans of City Hall. Uh, we've had to incur some other expenses related to uh, PPE. And so those are the type of uh, expenditures that this further gives us the ability to be eligible. The city of Shafter has had 29 confirmed cases of COVID-19. So far, 23 have recovered, and the city says it will continue to follow the governor's guidelines. But for now, reporting in Bakersfield, I'm Kylie Walker, 23ABC, connecting you.